This is a close-up of the Logitech G240 mousepad. Here you can see the direction of the weave. I can't see it with the naked eye, so I'll let you decide. So the first thing you're going to notice about this is how thin it is. This is actually too thin for me. I think pads need about 3mm, because otherwise when you pick up the mouse and put it down, it's like you're putting it back on the desk. It's a really hard surface. There's almost no cushioning there, and maybe it'll break the mouse in the future, I don't know. I'm not going to use this long enough to actually find out. I recommend pads more like the Razer Goliathus because they do have that 3mm thickness. This is one of the smaller pads at 28cm by about 33 and a half. And the reason that this is a problem for me is that when I'm in an Australian summer like right now, there's a lot of sweat going on. It is very hot in this room. So if I don't have extra pad covering the desk over here, my arm's going to stick and I'm not going to be able to aim properly. So I prefer big pads covering the entire desk, or at least as much as possible. The texture though is very smooth and just soft. It actually gives a padded feel, even though when you pick it up you know it's not. When you're actually just gliding the mouse over it, it does feel very good. There's a lot of tension there, but it might just be the humidity in the air today. But while playing in game, I felt like I had good control. Underneath the pad you have a sticky textured surface. So I would say there's very little chance of that actually moving. Two hands. You can see even that, and putting a fair amount of pressure on it, it's only just moving. Just some quick in-game tests. For this I'm going to use the Zowie EC2A. And first of all, I'm just going to zoom in to one FAV and move the mouse very slowly across. It's tracking every movement quite nicely. Now let's speed it up. Nice and smooth, very good performance. For some contrast, this is a Rockhead Taito. Let's do the very slow movements again. And now a bit faster. There might be some difference, but it's really not that noticeable. Let's just do a quick spin out test. I'm just going to throw the mouse across the pad. Looks good. This test is somewhat irrelevant, however I like to do it. The Razor Abyssus seems to spin out on most pads, so I like to test it on every pad just to see if I do find one that it doesn't spin out on. So this is a Razor Abyssus, same test. And we have a spin out, so this pad's no good for that one either. So would I recommend this pad? No, because it's too thin. If it was thicker, then probably. It is actually a very nice feeling pad. Something I've noticed about doing these reviews is that, at first, even if something doesn't suit me, it will suit other people. So while I don't know who this is actually marketed to, please let me know in the comments if you like pads like this, and why. Because it's not a bad pad, it's just, just too thin. So whenever recommendations come up, I'll always say the thicker pads. But if you can give me some good reasoning behind why this pad is actually beneficial to your playing, then I'd love to hear them. The only thing I've heard is that a thinner pad will have less bumps and ditches in it. But I haven't had that problem with thicker pads yet, so I'm not sure this actually has an advantage at all being that thin. Anyway, if you want a thin black pad that only has a small logo on the bottom right, then I guess this is a good option. It seems to play well, it's good in game, it's got good performance, just for me it's too thin. Anyway, hope that helps, questions and comments leave them below, subscribe to help me grow the channel, and if you do want to buy one of these I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon. So thanks for watching, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next.